In this video, you will learn how to combine PHP code with HTML. This is a really useful PHP feature that you will use all the time. First, I'll create a new file and call it bg3.php. Inside this file, I'll set up a basic HTML5 page structure. We will give our page the title Baldur's Gate 3 Impressions. I will also add an h1 tag inside the body and repeat the same text from the title. OK, up to this point, it's just a regular HTML page. But now let's add some PHP code to our HTML. All we need to do is use PHP tags like this. Now we can start writing PHP code between those tags. You learned about variables in the previous tutorial. So let's define a few variables. Since this is a Baldur's Gate impressions page, I'm going to create one variable for a character's name and another for their impression. Now that we have created these variables, let's use them to display characters and their thoughts about the game. I'm going to use an unordered list to make it more visual. In the list, I will add an empty list item. You already know how to show a variable. You use the echo command for that. Now I want to show the first character's name inside the list item. We write PHP code between PHP tags. We can use PHP tags as many times as we want in our scripts. So I'm going to put another pair of tags here and echo the character1 variable. Let's save the file and open the page in the browser. Iron Man. Awesome. It means that PHP displayed the value of the variable just as I wanted. Now, if I open the source code of this page, we will see what our server sent to the browser. There is no PHP code here. All the HTML code has been sent to the browser along with the value of the character1 variable embedded directly into HTML. That's because PHP ignores everything outside of PHP tags and sends it to the browser as is but the code inside PHP tags is executed and only its output is sent to the browser. Now let's display Iron Man's impression of the game. To do that, I'm going to do the same thing as with the character1 variable. I'll add another pair of PHP tags and then echo the impression1 variable. Let's check its output. Awesome! The impression is right here. Now before we repeat this process for the other characters, let's improve our code. PHP allows us to have PHP tags and code on the same line, like this. But don't forget to leave a space after the opening PHP tag. Without the space, PHP gives us an error. Also, if you have only one statement inside PHP tags, like we have here, then you can skip the semicolon. A semicolon is a separator between statements, and because this is the last statement before the closing tag, there's nothing left to separate it from. So let's get rid of these semicolons. Now our code looks cleaner. Also, PHP has a shorter way to echo a variable. We can replace this part with an equal sign, and it will still work the same way. This is just a shorter syntax to do the same thing, echo a variable. So these two lines are equal. They do the same thing. OK, let's use a short echo tag here too and check whether it works. When I refresh the page, it shows the same output. Fantastic. Now I'm going to make our message look a bit nicer. For that, I will take advantage of the feature that everything outside of PHP tags is sent to the browser as is. I will put this colon right after the closing PHP tag and also add double quotes before and after the second set of PHP tags. These are just a part of the HTML. PHP will ignore them because they are outside of PHP tags. When I refresh the page, there it is, that colon and double quotes. Now let's take a look at the source code of the page. This is what our server sent to the browser when it executed our PHP script. Let's go through this part and compare the source code from the browser with the actual PHP script. OK, so this is exactly the same. PHP just sent this HTML to the browser without changing anything. Next comes the actual PHP code that echoed the content of the character1 variable, which is Iron Man. After that, the colon, the formatting, and the double quotes were sent to the browser just as they are, because they are outside of PHP tags. 
Then, once again, the PHP echoes the content of the impression one variable. And then there's the double quote as it is because, well, you know the reason. Now let's output the other impressions. I'm going to repeat the same thing as with the character one, only with uh, the character two and character three. Now let's refresh the page. Amazing. We have all the impressions displayed. You might be wondering why we use PHP to show the impressions when we could use pure HTML and have the same result. And you are right, in this case using PHP is an overkill. We use PHP here only for the sake of learning and practice. But don't worry, in the next video you will start learning control structures. They will give you the real power of embedding PHP into HTML. For instance, we could display impressions conditionally only to the registered users. For practice, add more characters and their impressions, then show them using both the full echo syntax and the short echo syntax. You can define variables not only at the beginning of your PHP script, you can do it at almost any place. So try to create a variable for an impression right before you echo it.